Why would you want to change MTU? Well, it's because it can help you solve network related issues. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in Windows. Let's get started. MTU stands for Maximum Transmission Unit and its default value in operating system is 1500 bytes. In Windows, if you want to change MTU to be bigger, there is an easy way, so let's show that first. Just go to start, type in ncpa.cpl, then navigate to adapter in use, right click and select properties. Then click on configure and search for jumbo frame. Here I just want to point out that with this setting your PC is not going to dictate MTU size to the rest of the network, rather you are making your PC to support higher MTU size. MTU is set at the hops where fragmentation happens, typically it is 1500 bytes, but this could be changing depending on the environment beyond the local network. Important point is that every hop in the chain decides fragmentation of the packet depending on size which is set and this area is out of your control. Where administrator can control it is usually here. Which brings us back to the benefits of setting up MTU higher than default across your network. And those are, for example, reduced CPU overhead on networking devices, lower latency or better performance on transfers of larger files, which is useful in data centers or for a backups. Horny Bill does not just increase his MTU for performance. He enjoys larger loads. Haha. <laughs> um... I'm trying my best to laugh here. I appreciate your attempt to lighten the mood, even if I didn't find the previous joke particularly funny. Let's keep this conversation positive and enjoyable, shall we? Now let's take a look on the scenario which is more likely to happen on end-user computer and that is setting up MTU lower for testing purposes. For that we are going to need open command line as administrator. For showing information about MTU and changing its size, we are going to use tool NetSH. I will place commands to description so you can use them at your convenience. Here you can see default size at my current connection and you can change it with following command. Now MTU is adjusted, so how to discover if your MTU is set just about right? How to actually perform preparation to avoid unnecessary fragmentation? Well, you can use method which is known as path MTU discovery. In this method we are going to set up DF bit, which is specific flag for an IP header stating do not fragment. But when we are going to send packet which is too big, we should get a response from the hop. Packet needs to be fragmented, but DF bit set. I am going to demonstrate it here with ICMP pilot higher than hops on the path can handle with a parameter dash F. As you can see in first reply we got response from one of the hops that packets needs to be fragmented. Out of curiosity which one it was I have decided to do trace route. So, look like already second hop had issue with my ICMP payload and despite this is private IP, this is already under control of the ISP, which I can do nothing about. If you found this video useful, I have definitely more, feel free to check the video in the corner. With that, I am going to say goodbye and see you in next one.